Good morning, Krusty Crew. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tori Sterling. If you guys are new to my channel, hello. Subscribe down below. But if you're my Sterling fam, well, welcome back. Today, you're watching a fitness vlog. I look like a legit egg. Why is this car here? That's literally the most inconvenient spot ever for a car. Good morning, guys. It is a Monday morning. It is 6.48 in the morning. I just finished my first workout of the day. It was amazing. So it was at um, my gym that I go to. It's Lifetime Fitness is the gym that I go to. Um, I teach at Soul Beat Studio, which is where I teach my spin studios, but I like lift weights and like do yoga and like do other workouts at like my gym called lifetime fitness i know some people like tend to get confused but that's what's up with that so anyway i just did an amazing workout it was called chisel and it was like the best way that i can explain it it was like hit with a lot of strengthening and toning and a lot of weights so it was like a high intense i was like dripping buckets okay like i am soaking wet right now in my clothes so i'm really glad that i'm going home and it was a very intense workout um next time that i do it i'm not doing it next week because i'm teaching at 5 45 on a monday but i think i might do it saturday at 8 30 it was such an amazing workout and i'll try and get footage of it i like didn't know the vibe of the class so i didn't want to bring my phone for the first time but now i know the vibe and i can definitely bring my phone so i was gonna like take that class and then i was gonna stay in box a little bit and like do a little bit of um abs and run a little bit but now um after that class i'm going home because i am like that was a huge full body workout and i don't really see the need in working out even more um but i am going back to gym around like 8 45 9 because i'm taking um 9 30 hot yoga um and that's a hot yoga class but i was gonna stay from like 5 45 literally until 10 30 because that's when my yoga class ends because it starts at 9 30 but now i'm like wow that was like very illogical of me to think that i would like actually do that so i'm not doing that i'm going home i'm gonna make like a little breakfast for myself i'm gonna change work a little bit get my stuff together probably have a coffee or a tea and um then i'm gonna come back do my yoga and um then get started with my day that's what's up for today all that i have on tap for today is yoga at 9 30 and then i'm teaching at five o'clock spin and uh that's it so it's a very chill day here i might take bar tonight i might go back to lifetime and like sauna and jacuzzi a little bit i don't really know what's up yet but um yeah that is the day and also this is my first video with my new hair which you can't even really see it but i got my extensions taken out and i um i went like way more rooted for the fall and I also am like a little gray now so that's super exciting but yeah that's what's up um, I'm getting hungry so I'm really glad that I'm going home to eat breakfast that I've been eating well I ate it yesterday and I'm eating it today and I'm really looking forward to it so I have the Ezekiel English muffin with protein and a little bit of peanut butter some bananas I have apples and blueberries because antioxidants and then I have my protein over here of two they're fried eggs but they're only fried with like I just put cooking spray down like there's no oil or anything so yeah that's breakfast and it's super filling you get your fats carbs proteins so I'm gonna leave for yoga in a couple of minutes, but before I do, I'm just gonna make some green tea to go. I am really freaking tired today, which is super not like me. Like I'm normally never really tired when I wake up this early. So I think I might have to grab like a coffee on the way out of yoga. 
Um, there's like a cafe in Lifetime, so I might just get like a cold brew or something with a little bit of almond milk. Like I don't really want to go to yoga. I honestly just want to stay here and sleep, but it's such a nice day out that I know the drive to the gym is going to make me like more excited to be at the gym. But if I get there and I'm late because of traffic, I'm just going to skip it and go to the mall because the gym and the mall is right next to each other. I'm going to buy fall candles. You might be thinking, Tori, why don't you go to the mall after the gym? Um, well, you see, you see, I could, but then I have to bring a change of clothes because I get really freaking sweaty after yoga. And, um, do I really want to do that today? People always ask me if I count calories. Um, I don't count calories. Uh, my mom thinks that I should count calories because I have very large portion sizes. And I always complain that my thighs are getting big, but I don't count calories. Um, and that's just because in my mind, how much I work out and like how much I eat like real whole foods i'm like i don't really need to count calories so no i don't count calories and also i'm just looking here on the back of the agave thing like if i were to count calories you would have to count so much like how much agave are you using how much olive oil are you using like how many um blueberries you eat like it just seems very obsessive and to me that doesn't always seem healthy um and i always like i caution a lot of people to not become too obsessive over what they eat and like how much they work out and like don't really you know it's great to live a healthy lifestyle but don't let it overcome your life like i know for me like the way i live my life is in a healthy lifestyle which is perfectly healthy and normal but it becomes a problem when you begin to obsess over every little thing that you do i'm going to switch over to my phone let's go to yoga so i'm on my way to yoga and i don't know why there's so much traffic there's normally a lot of traffic on this highway um, but like around this time is when it always clears out But um, I'm assuming that there's like an accident or something because like it's super slow moving And it's I've been sitting in it for like so long. So I'm gonna actually miss yoga um, I took my hair down because I was like, okay, I'm not ruining my hair with that hair self I'm not even gonna end up going to yoga. So I'm gonna go home and Get ready for the day. I might stop on the way and like get a coffee or something um, but I'm just gonna go home get ready for the day. There's a Duncan right here So I might just go right there I'm really sad that like I miss this yoga class because it starts in five minutes and I'm still 15 minutes away And like you can walk in late to a yoga class, but like do I really want to be that That does that like no, I don't like I really have to think do I coffee it or do I or Don't I hi can I have an iced um, medium coffee with um, almond milk, please. Hi, how are you? That's with almond milk? Almond milk, yes. Thank you. Nice Thanks so much. Have a good one. God, I'm always so freaking frantic every single time I leave a drive through. I feel like I'm being so rushed. Ah! Back from my fail of a yoga. Kind of sad. I'm gonna make pumpkin energy balls. I've been wanting, it's like freaking fall outside, okay? It's like the perfect weather. It's fall, and I don't have anything pumpkin in my house. Like, for real, how sad is that? Dates, I have. Pecans, I don't have, but I have walnuts, so. Pumpkin puree, that's the big kicker. Is this different than puree? 100% pumpkin? Whatever, we're gonna use it. So I'm kind of making up my own as I go, so let's just see how this works out. Place dates into a small bowl and cover with water. So is it asking me to put dates in a bowl of water? Because that's worded very poorly, if it is. I don't have a food processor, so I'm doing this in a blender. Let's hope that works. One cup of dates, water, pecans, walnuts, same difference. That looks good to me. A third a cup of pumpkin, peanut butter. I'm just gonna add the rest of the peanut butter that's in this jar. I know that I'm gonna really enjoy this. A fourth cup here of coconut flakes. I'm also going to add in some flaxseed and some chia seeds. Now for the spices, about two teaspoons of vanilla. I have this recipe that I'm going off of, but I'm also just sort of like improvising a little bit. I'm just going to do a little... Love touch here of nutmeg. I'm also just gonna do a little love touch here of cinnamon. And I have my pumpkin pie, cause I'm freaking awesome. 
I love touch of that. Some pink Himalayan salt to taste. Oh yeah, this is where all the sugar comes in, right here. Let's see how this works. Okay, this might take me a couple of times because I don't have a food processor, so I'm gonna have to keep like Ooh, yes, but it's it's doing good things. All right, so I've transferred everything into a bowl. I'm gonna try this by hand and then I might throw it in the blender at the end again. And this consistency is perfect. All right, so it looks like this now. This consistency is literally so perfect. And um, I'm keeping mine like a little chunky because I can't get it perfect. I'm gonna buy a food processor because I think I'm gonna make balls all the time now because this is seriously like freaking amazing. So you're gonna put this in the fridge for 30 minutes to let it chill and then you rolled into balls and we'll be back. I just got ready for the day, thank God, because I literally was like ugly and like I was just not about that at all. And like I was just feel so much better when I like have myself put together, but whatever. Anyway, they've been chilling for about 30, 40 minutes now. So it's time to roll the balls. I think I'm gonna be a good, good friend and drop a few of these balls off at my friend's house um, because I know that she would probably want some of these. Let's first just taste them. Wow, okay. Wow. And these are really good to eat like right before a workout, after a workout. They're like a healthy little pumpkin spice treat. But trust me, like you'll be eating these like crazy. And there you go. Pumpkin spice energy balls. Woo -woo. So I'm actually gonna go deliver some pumpkin balls to my friend um, because she wants some, but um, I feel like I can't continue this vlog without saying this. Um, so today is Monday, October 2nd, which means that last night in Las Vegas, there was that mass shooting, which is now confirmed to be the largest mass shooting in US history, and I literally have chills saying that. Any families, anyone affected personally, my thoughts are with you. I'm thinking of you. I um, have so much sympathy, and my heart just aches hearing about this horrible tragedy and something absolutely needs to change. Um, I don't want to get into my political views. Gun control is a huge issue in our nation and um, it is something that needs to be stopped and I don't know how many more mass shootings and how many more killings it ha it takes until people under like until people realize that something needs to be changed. I know a lot of my viewers are from Vegas and I know I'm sure there's a couple of you that were directly affected by this and I am just so 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 sorry to hear about this and I'm so sorry that you have to go through this and I'm over here making these like pumpkin spice balls and I'm like burying my head in the sand but like the world is such an evil place sometimes and it's, oh, I can't talk about it anymore. I'm just sorry, and my thoughts are with you, and I stand right there with everyone else, and I completely agree that something needs to be done because our people cannot keep dying from senseless deaths and murders from our own people. It's absolutely horrible. So with that being said, I'm going to do my dishes, put some balls in a container, and drive them over to my friend and um, just appreciate the beautiful day I have out in front of me and live my life the best that I can while also trying to just make everyone else around me happy and I think that's all that we can do. That is the only way I know how to help this situation is to spread love and not hate and I encourage everyone else to do the same thing. Well, it's for you. Let me try one. Did you obviously had one? Yeah, I've had one. Oh. Let me know what you think. They're really good. Fuego. Fuego. They got a little like soft in the car, but I'll put them in the fridge. Yeah, that's definitely the move. They're good. Thank you. All right, my hair's a mess, and um, that means the day is well over. It's like 9:30 now, but I had like three pumpkin energy balls for dessert. They are just so freaking good, and everyone, I'm not kidding. So many people have texted me asking for the recipe because I put on my Instagram story. So these are going to be a hit. Make them. You guys are going to love them. And yes. Okay, I'm going to go subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and uh, be happy. Love, love one another. Okay? That was the worst intro of my life. Bye. I love you.